At the heart of any organisation or organising system is people, and I don't think you can separate personal work from collective work and organisational design. People who build the house are built by the house. How can we have a relationship with a small group of people where there is a power, information and resource asymmetry and say, how can we have a generative co-creation with you? The idea here is having permissionless protocols where you can start to engage with groups of people at much more scale. When you look at the role nation states have played in the past couple of centuries, that role has been diminishing over time. The two dominant global organisms on our planet, governments and corporations. And I think that, like uh, many species, that they will be outpaced, that something else will replace, replace a lot of their core functions in the next couple of centuries. The dominant organisational paradigms, they're mechanical ones. We have designed our human systems like machines, and it doesn't work very well. This year, I've started to talk about uh, individuals, pods, communities, and networks as levels of organising, and I use them to categorise thinking and ideas for different organising systems. What I think could be emerging in the space is things along the lines of transnational collectives. So communities of people, entrepreneurial communities, education communities, housing communities, groups of people in the hundreds, networked together in the thousands, that start to provide many of the functions that our current businesses and government structures do.